Go for it. All right, I'm going to run through how we made the roof racks. So here's the end result of the rails we designed in SketchUp. And we went through a huge number of iterations. It was really good to just check what size um, to make the aluminium, what size to buy, check how it looks. And we experimented with putting a sort of a sled end to the rail. The feet ended up being a bit wider than what's pictured here, more like what's at this end. We thought that looks best. And powder coated in black. So that was a design. We ended up with some U-channel aluminium that was 5mm thick. And uh, this was about $320 for two 5 meter lengths. This is my mate Jason. He does a lot of metal work. All right, luckily Jason's got the Mafco Metal Master metal cutter, which is really convenient for cutting uh, big long uh, lengths of steel and aluminium. So we cut this up, first of all cutting up the legs, and then hopefully there's enough left over to make the rails. All right, so here's the result. We've got eight pieces of uh, feet, and what we're going to do is... Make sure they've all got the holes like that piece, which will be bolted down onto the roof. And then on top of that, we're gonna run the, the rail like so, and that'll be bolted through from the top. All right, here we are in Pete's garage again. The reason we're here is he's got a drill press. So I need to drill holes in the top of all these pieces of aluminium like we did with this one yesterday. Next up we gave the legs a sand and the goal here is to round off all the edges so that when uh, we're powder coating them the paint will adhere to the edges better. So who doesn't love sanding? So I've just been over to Tauranga, which is about an hour and a half driveway, and uh, picked up some panels. So we've got three of these solar panels, and uh, they came in these nice boxes. I'm just gonna open this up and check that the width of them is exactly what we're expecting before we cut the aluminium on the saw over there. So I'm here up the ladder. We are currently installing, just temporarily, uh, the feet and the beams that we've cut. And the reason for that is we want to be able to mark exactly where to cut the holes for both the beams and the feet to join them all together and make sure that it's all going to work okay. So what we have to do, pull these plugs out, decided not to use this plug at the end here simply because it's too close to the uh, fan vent and we want the solar panels to start about here. So these are just little rubber bungs that are on top here and to get them out I've just scored around the edge of them as carefully as I can to cut the paint and then I'll be using a screwdriver to get in underneath and get those rubber bungs out and you see they are actually flexible rubber. Here's what these little bungs look like. That paint's already been primed. Naturally I've cut into it, so I'll paint over that to make sure it's uh, all sealed. And then there's a bolt hole there. And hopefully the bolt hole reaches. I did have one on the other side where the bolt hole did not line up with the hole on top. So I had to cut the metal somewhat to get a bolt in there. Okay, next up we needed two holes in the feet. And we decided to make these lozenge shape simply because the chance of me getting everything lined up and the holes in exactly the right places is almost none. So making some lozenge shapes means uh, we can move the feet side to side and get the positions exactly right. 
So we're going to use Jason's CNC machine for this. This is the software he uses to pre-plan what the CNC machine is going to do. Next up, Jason's going to uh, load up the program he designed to drill the holes. There we go. Next, we have to zero the CNC machine so it knows where the starting point is. Finally, we let it do its magic. And man, it is magic. Next, I have to drill some holes in the rails where the feet are going to meet. We've got a little issue in that the angle, the roof is convex. So this side they'll be like this and this side they're like that slightly. So when you put something flat across them like a solar panel, uh, there's a 5mm gap on this side. So we need to figure out a way to deal with that. And what we'll probably do is just pad one side up where the um, feet go those little pads on the roof. You'd think they'd make them flat, but no. No, they did not. Okay, so here's what we did instead of padding uh, the feet. That was just to squeeze the crap out of these things until they're the right angle. And we had to bend them about 10 mils in distance closer to each other. These little bastards keep springing back, so we had to over compress them and then they'd spring back. Alright, it's taken quite a while to get to this point, but today we're going to install the roof racks. I just had to order some new bolts, which took a couple of days to arrive because we we got countersunk ones instead of button head which won't work inside the brackets. So so they took a couple of weeks to get the uh, roof racks powder coated. So this video has been a while in the making, but uh, today we should end up with roof racks on the roof. All right, so I'm here at Jason's house. We just realized that we were going to uh, put a thread in these holes so that we can bolt the feet directly on without any uh, nuts on the other side. We probably will put a nut on the other side as well just to stop it coming loose, uh, but it just means it'll be super strong. So what we've done is just cleared all the holes with the, the drill here just to make sure that they're uh, clear of uh, the paint and next we're going to put the threads in to put the threads in we're using a, um, a threading bit here so pretty straightforward so just like that beautiful dad. I'm not your dad all right, final steps, just add a little very light countersink to the holes. All right, so we've got the uh, the rails, we've got all our pieces. I uh, hole punch little dimples in them so I know which one is which and where it needs to go. I've loosely bolted these on and uh, the key thing is they can still slide left and right, which means we can get this hole lined up for every single uh, piece. And see, so we've got a layer of EVA foam between the two, the feet and the rails, just to make it uh, nice. We've got one roof rack on. Didn't show you that, of course, because uh, if I cocked it up, I didn't want you to see. This is the second one. I've just put all the bolts through, and uh, we're going to see if it fits. The holes should line up, and each foot can slide left and right, so there's a little bit of leeway. What are you doing, Jace? Just delivering coffee to the mother-in-law. Oh, nice. Yeah.